Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts and welcome to another Not With Me video. If this is your first time joining me for a Not With Me video, then be warned, this is not a tutorial. This is just a video in which I'm making a bracelet and then I sped it up a bunch so that I can fit in, what, five hours of making this bracelet into a 10 minute video. Um, and yeah, I uh, use these videos to sort of just chat with you about whatever I feel like chatting about. Usually I use these as like life updates or something. Um, to just kind of hang out. I like to imagine that um, as I am making the bracelet on screen, you are also making a bracelet off screen and we're just using this as like a hangout session. Um, so yeah, welcome if this is your first time or welcome back if you are coming back. Glad to have you here either way. So today I'm making this uh, such a beautiful pattern. I really, really love this pattern. You probably saw it in the thumbnail, but this pattern is two cute little elephants um, and they've got like a heart between them. And I thought that, you know, with Valentine's Day coming up, this is a perfect time to make this pattern. Uh, in fact, I've wanted to make this pattern for literal years. It's been in the back of my to-do list uh, on bracelet book for such a long time. And I think the reason that it spent so long in my to-dos is because I kept waiting for Valentine's Day, but then I kept getting sidetracked by something else or forgetting about it by the time it rolled around to Valentine's Day. And so it spent like several years just waiting for Valentine's Day. But this year is the year, new year, new me. We are finally making patterns that have been in my to-dos uh, for a super long time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with my choice of pattern. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out, as you will see later. And it was also just like a really fun and entertaining pattern to make. Um, for alpha bracelets, I tend to have a preference for patterns that are kind of, uh, or for bracelets rather, that are kind of uh, a bunch of empty rows at the beginning and then some kind of design in the middle and then a bunch of empty rows after that. And uh, this is kind of that, though there's not too many empty rows at the beginning, as you can see. I didn't film the empty rows, I thought that would be kind of boring, so I started when the design started. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is kind of like that. And usually for patterns like that, I tend to go for some kind of multicolored string in the background to keep the bracelet looking interesting because the design itself is um, kind of usually relatively small in the middle. But this design in the middle is actually quite big. I mean, it's two elephants and a heart in between. It's quite a lot of rows that was just for the design. So I uh, decided to go for a solid color instead. And I'm also very happy with uh, the color that I chose. You can never really tell, I mean, or at least I can never really tell how colors are gonna look together uh, in a bracelet before I actually sit down to start making the bracelet. And a lot of the times I will pick out some colors and think that it's going amazingly and it's gonna be great. But then I sit down to actually make the bracelet and I'm like, oh, these colors blend in. Um, and I didn't realize that because when I was holding the strings together, I thought that they didn't blend in. But then when you're actually making the bracelet, they blend in completely and it looks horrible. Or like the tone, like the undertone of the colors doesn't like work well together, I guess. Anyway, my point is I'm really happy with the colors that I chose for this pattern and I love how it was turning out. Let's talk a bit about Valentine's Day because I feel like it's a holiday that a lot of people hate because they don't have a significant other at the time. And I completely disagree with that. I know it sounds a bit, you know, weird coming from someone who is literally married, but I feel like Valentine's Day and focusing on the romantic love aspect of it isn't necessarily what we should be focusing on. I feel like we should be focusing on love as a whole, as cheesy as that sounds. And by that I mean um, love for your family members uh, or your friends or anyone that you love in a non-romantic way as well as in a romantic way. So that way, even if you don't have a romantic partner at the time of Valentine's Day, you definitely still have something to celebrate um, because we all have friends or loved ones. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I felt like that was something I wanted to say. I feel like, uh, especially for coming from us, a community of people who make friendship bracelets, it is literally in the name. It is a friendship bracelet. We have so much to celebrate and to be thankful for in terms of other kinds of loving relationships. So yeah, if, if you don't have a significant other, or even if you do, um, use this day to sort of also focus on your other kinds of relationships and maybe make a friendship bracelet for your friend and tell them that you are grateful to have them in your life. Yeah, for me, for example, Valentine's Day has always been a bit of a weird one because I 
spent my teenage years in Moscow. I lived in Moscow from ages 10 to 19, and Valentine's Day was never really a huge holiday in Russia. Uh, it might be now, I mean, I haven't lived there in like five years at this point, maybe something has changed, but when I was living there, it wasn't really that much of a thing. Like we did celebrate it a bit, but it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, but nowadays as well, <laughs> I have a husband, but we are unfortunately still long distance. So we are unable to celebrate Valentine's Day in a way that other people do. We still like to do something, um, for events like this. So sometimes we have two anniversaries at the minute. We have our relationship anniversary and then our wedding anniversary. And then obviously Valentine's Day. So it's like three days in the year where we kind of um, celebrate our relationship, I guess. And it's interesting because they're actually quite spaced out. February and then our relationship anniversary is in July and our wedding anniversary is in December. So it's like spread out throughout the year. That's irrelevant to the point that I'm trying to make, but I just thought it was funny. Um, so yeah, we still try to like do some things, but yeah, long distance is long distance, and it is kind of sad still, and if I were to just focus on that, I would probably be more sad than happy. So I am also trying to use Valentine's Day to keep track and uh, be grateful for and kind of celebrate my non-romantic relationships and people that I love in my life, especially coming off of uh, this trip to Russia that I had recently. I had such an amazing trip. I had such a good time. It was probably one of the best trips that I've had to Russia uh, since I stopped living there. And I, I don't know why, to be, to be honest. I don't know why this one specifically was so, so special to me, but I got to spend um, two and a half weeks with my family and um, I saw a bunch of my friends as well. And it was just such a good time. I, I really connected with everyone. And I feel like I have a lot to celebrate because of that. So yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to say that. <laughs> so there you go. If you're feeling a bit sad about Valentine's Day because you don't have a significant other, I urge you not to feel sad about that and instead um, focus on the other good relationships that you have in your life. Anyway, let's get back to the pattern. That was a bit deep. <laughs> this pattern, oh, I made a mistake there. Yeah, I really, I hate making mistakes in alphas. I hate making mistakes in bracelets in general, but I hate making mistakes in alphas specifically because um, when I'm making an alpha, I use the flat alpha technique, which if you don't know what that is, I have a tutorial on the flat alpha technique. I will leave it linked in the description and in the card. Um, but the gist of it is that you have to like thread the previous leading string through the knot of the current one. And so when I'm untying knots, I it's it become such a tangle of strings because there's like multiple strings involved and I end up usually fraying the string that I have. It's, yeah, it, it gets annoying. But oh, I, I really, I can't stop gushing over this pattern. I think it is such a cute pattern. I really love these kind of, I don't know, small, just cute patterns. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them, but I really love cute patterns. And um, yeah, I'm planning on making so many cute patterns. Uh, if you don't know, I currently, for the first time in like forever, um, <laughs> I created a schedule for my YouTube channel uh, and that schedule goes for the entire year. So I'm able to sort of pencil in because things, you know, get changed a lot. I'm able to sort of pencil in and plan out what kind of videos that I want to do for the future. And I trying, uh, I'm, I trying, I am trying to currently um, fit in at least one Not With Me video per month. And I have put in um, to my schedule patterns that I've really wanted to do for a really long time. This was one of them, by the way. This, uh, I've scheduled this video out quite in advance because I was like, I keep putting this video off uh, or this pattern off for Valentine's Day. I wasn't even planning on making a video uh, on it originally. I was just putting off the pattern uh, for Valentine's Day for so long. And I was like, I have to put it in so that I actually do it. And I'm gonna make a video out of it so that I have extra motivation to finally do it. Um, so I've been doing that with other patterns that I've had on my to-do list for a really long time. I've sort of penciled them in as not with me videos for the future. And I, yeah, the cute sort of animal vibe. I, um, I'm so here for it. I really enjoy cute little animal patterns. So there's gonna be more coming. <laughs> if you are interested in that, yeah, there's definitely gonna be more coming. I'm trying to do these like once a month. And as for a life update, life's been really good actually. Uh, I'm still in a really good mood from my trip to Russia. As, uh, as I said, I had a really good time and I'm still just 
very happy from it. <laughs> so there's that. And then I've also got something to look forward to. Uh, I am hopefully going to the Czech Republic uh, in a few months to see my sister who I haven't seen in such a long time. In like a year and a half, I think I haven't seen her. So hopefully I'm gonna be going there. I say hopefully because you know, things can change any minute, especially with flight and travel plans. But hopefully I am going. Uh, so I've got some stuff to look forward to. And then in general, life's been good. Um, I have a secret project that I am working on that I will be able to announce in about a month. And I'm very excited about that. <laughs> I hate teasing stuff, but also I can't keep things in. So there's that. Exciting announcement coming in about a month. Um, so yeah, life's been good. I'm, I've been having a really good time. So there's a little kind of life update for you guys. Uh, if you wanna have more of an in-depth life update, life update uh, I do vlogs every once in a while. So you could uh, check out there. Anyway, uh, this is what the pattern turned out looking like. I absolutely love this pattern and I think it turned out really, really well. I haven't made an alpha bracelet in a really long time and this has really sort of amped up my motivation to do them. So I'm probably gonna be making some more alpha bracelets in the near future. So yay, I'm very excited for that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed hanging out with me. If you made any bracelets during this video, uh, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I absolutely love going through my tagged photos and like checking out what you guys have been making. So there's that. Also, if you have been making a bracelet with me, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is what I like to imagine whenever I'm recording the voiceovers or just uh, filming myself actually making the bracelet. I like to imagine that you guys are making bracelets with me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for being a patron. If you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, feel free to do that. The link is in the description. But in any case, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.